David Patrick Green, six feet tall, Toronto for the time being. This is Mama Cat. She's alone. Hey guys, DPG here, and here is a little time saver that's also going to help you with your self-tape auditions. So as you are probably aware, when you do an audition and you have to submit it yourself, you have to do a slate. And what you need to put on the slate varies from casting director to casting director and project to project, but typically it's, hi, my name is, uh, my height is, and this is my location, because nowadays nobody really knows where you are. And yet you have to do this over and over and over for every audition, and it can actually become uh, not only a bit monotonous, but it also takes quite a bit of extra time because you have to uh, record it uh, a second time, often in um, portrait mode instead of landscape mode, because maybe your background is really cluttered, it's really hard to find a wall or a room that's wide enough to shoot in landscape mode without it looking silly. You know, refrigerators and printers and all kinds of stuff in it. So you shoot it in portrait mode and then you have to flip it when you edit it. If you are asked to submit the slate in one file, which is normally the case. So here's what you do. You shoot several slates with different types of wardrobe. So whatever the typical thing that you get asked to wear or the types of parts that you play, whether it's a military person or a business person or an athlete or a gym instructor or barista or blue collar, whatever it is, dress in three or four different wardrobes, shoot the same slate over and over in these different wardrobes, and then you'll have a selection of slates to choose from so you don't have to record it every single time. And I know a lot of you are going to be saying, but you're not going to look exactly the same in uh, the, the audition as you do in the slate. Well, guess what? That's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because it shows a couple of different looks for you that otherwise the casting people wouldn't see. So they might think of you in the future saying, oh, you know, maybe... David's not right for this part, but I really like the way he looks as a construction worker, as a police officer, as a whatever. Okay, so it's always great to show people two looks and, you know, you can talk like you are, always do in your slate and then you can put on whatever character with whatever accent you do in your audition. And that way they see the real you compared to you as the actor and they also see you in multiple wardrobes. So shoot several slates in several different wardrobes and then you can just add whichever slate you want and you won't have to go to the trouble of shooting a new slate every time and you are showing multiple versions of yourself that casting directors and producers and directors wouldn't otherwise see. I hope this was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, share, and click the bell for notifications for more videos like this. And um, I'm just showing you an example of one of my slates at the tail end of this one. I'll talk to you soon.